Okay, well, today we're adding a second brood box. Um, the number two hive over here apparently has grown exponentially quicker than what we thought, so it's very healthy. And we're gonna, these of all, all these frames I've taken and sprayed with sugar water to attract the bees up from the lower brood chamber up to the upper one. So they're ready to go. I'm going to pull this off of here. Maybe we need to look underneath and see how they are. How's it feel? Check it for the queen. Make sure she's not on the top board. Doesn't appear she is. So looks good there. <laughs> Check to see if our beetle trap got any beetles. Nope. Just like we were told they wouldn't. Let's make the top, please. Okay. doing is removing some fur comb, make it a little easier. Can I get the, uh... curious to see if we moved some frames around last time. Queen cup. Can you see that, Hunter? Yeah. Does the camera see it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Doesn't appear to be anything in it. Looks pretty good. This is full of nectar. Very heavy. So let's do this. Grab one of these. We're taking an empty frame out of here.
second wood box on. Center up these frames. Pretty loud. We're all up in here feeding. Pretty far up. We'll top off the syrup for next time we get in this hive will be another two weeks, probably three weeks. No really reason to get into it for a while. They're slowing down on their sugar water consumption because there's lots of nectar out there for them to, to collect. So. We're going to top it off anyways because we want them to build new comb in this top box. Okay. Yeah, no, fine. Okay. okay. Hive is done. Strap it down over here. You can? Yeah, let's get it knocked down. Oh, let's just now, because of video purposes, we'll just move on. How about that? Well, they've been consuming a lot in this one, so we're down to about one half of one side, so half a gallon of left. So I'm gonna pop this off. If you wanna look at it to see if there's cone built up in there really bad. That's not bad at all. That's perfectly acceptable. We're concerned about the comb being built up in there, but they need a ladder, so that's why they call it bridge comb, to get from here up into the feeder. So as long as it isn't blocking the whole thing, I don't mind. Guess who's on top of the board? The queen. Didn't think I would ever see that. So what we're gonna do is just close this thing up right now. I'm not gonna mess with her. Oh, 
she just went in. Whew. Biggest mistake beekeepers make is not looking at this top board, front and back, before they set it on the ground. And there she was, right on top of this board. Why, I don't know. She's up here, she's messing around. And if I put it on the ground and she crawls off, one of us step on her, game over. So we have to wait till she may create a new queen, if even possible. So now that we know she's gone back down in, hopefully, we'll check the back side to make sure she just didn't flip around. I do not see her there. I do not see her here. That was quick. We're just going to take a peek, see how things are going. Nothing. No hive beetles that we can see. I can see. Just poke it around real quick. Take a quick look. I'm gonna go straight to the middle of the box. I just want to see how the brood are doing. All the middle's hatched out, but she's filled in all the rest. So I don't know if you can see that. So they're bringing in pollen. It doesn't look too bad. Much the same here, the brood patterns so so. Here she is, we'll put her back. Actually, we're just going to stop there. This box is not ready for. A, uh, a second deep at this time. Still, she's still a little thin as far as brood goes, but she's laying. So we're good. Sure our B space is good. Put our hair cover back on. I want that comb going up. Okay. Let's top this feeder off.
Okay, well, that'll be the last time we get in these hives. I really don't want to mess with them for another minimum three weeks. Real no reason, no reason to. There's plenty of nectar and pollen out there. I'm not going to mess with the feeders anymore. I'll come back. I think she's still at least two to three weeks away from needing a second deep like this one. Um, I may come back in two weeks or after that three weeks. If she still hasn't caught up, I'll take a frame of brood from here and some nurse bees and move it over to here to level out the hive so I can bring this population up. And she'll have a little more nurse bees to take care of what she has because she'll only lay as much as she has nurse bees to be able to tend to them. So that's it for now. So have a good one.